Let's Play Stallball is a Heritage Lottery funded project involving four East Sussex primary schools. The project was supported by the Weald and Downland Open Air Museum, Grey Nichols and Uckfield Community College. The Let's Play Stallball project shows how the history and heritage of Stallball can be a valuable resource covering many aspects of the national curriculum. Stallball gives children a fascinating insight into a traditional community sport and is a fun, easy, inexpensive sport to play. The objectives of the project were to get more children playing Stallball in schools and to raise awareness of the rich history of a unique game. By demonstrating how the history of Stallball can be used as a resource for cross-curricular education we want to help schools think creatively about how to engage children in the sports available to them. Four East Sussex primary schools took part in this project. Framfield Primary School, St Mark's in Hadlow Down, Harlands in Uckfield and Newick Primary School. We worked with one class in each school which included years four, five and six. Each school took part in five full-day workshops and made two out-of-school visits. We first did a research workshop where we found out facts. The first workshop concentrated on research methods, where the children explored ways of looking beyond the internet. They had a go at dating photographs using old stallball pictures. Created posters, exploring how their playing fields and village greens have been used over the years. And thought about using local archives and talking to relatives and neighbours to gather personal memories. There was also a history workshop. We looked at the earliest references to stallball and its roots in medieval times and the development of the game through the Victorian era. We used newspaper reports to explore the lives of Victorian villagers and even created some one-minute dramas from them. Are you going to my pretty fair maid? With your red rosy cheeks and your cold black hair? We moved on to the massive growth in popularity of Stallball after the First World War and talked about the Sussex character Major W. W. Grantham who promoted Stallball both nationally and internationally. Largely due to Grantham's enthusiasm, there came to be over 1,000 teams nationwide in the 1920s and 30s. Games were played at Lord's Cricket Ground and even in Buckingham Palace Gardens. During World War II, of course, sport was severely curtailed and Stallball contracted back into Sussex, which is now considered to be its home. We ended the workshop with a look at the newly formed England team. And of course, we went outside to play a game which the children loved. They couldn't wait to actually have a go. The art workshops were a great success. The children and staff really enjoyed them. Each child made a piece of felt from scratch and we discussed the different processes involved in this traditional craft used wool to make felt and made a banner. The children also used collage and different sewing techniques to decorate their felt designs. Coloured background and then we had to like tease it apart by using our thumbs and we had to like pull it apart like that. And we had to keep it with your hands? Yeah, like that. What did you enjoy most of all? Uh, making the felt. The felt pieces were used to create a school banner which each school proudly displayed at the Celebration Stallball Tournament at the Weald and Downland Open Air Museum. Another very enjoyable session was the folk music workshop. It was amazing how quickly the children picked up the traditional songs and remembered them without lyric sheets. We also did some lovely folk music, didn't we, with Mark Broad as well, and daughter Maddie's helped us as well with learning the game. And the whole project at Stallwall England has been brilliant, so we're very grateful to have been part of the project.
They heard about singers and songs from Sussex and the kind of fairs, feasts and celebrations where the songs would have been performed and where Stalbull would also have been played. Having learnt some songs, in true folk style, they all chose an instrument and created an improvised accompaniment. Great fun, whilst learning about rhythm, decision-making and playing together. The oral history workshop was very interesting. Six um, people came in who had played Stubble and we interviewed them about their background. The day was split into two. Interview training in the morning and interviews in the afternoon. Interviewing requires listening and comprehension skills and a level of calm control that can be challenging even for adults. The children took that challenge and certainly impressed our interviewees with their level of maturity and interest. You had to shoo the cows off. Do you remember that? Also, we've created a new archive of stallball interviews to be lodged with East Sussex Record Office. So that's very exciting for everyone involved. A real highlight was the visit to Grey Nichols, the international sports company and bat makers based in Robertsbridge, East Sussex. Then we went to a factory, a Stubble factory, to Grey Nichols, and we saw how the bat was made. Each class was shown the complete Stubble bat making process. Right from huge willow tree trunks, grown and harvested in Sussex, to a finished bat, complete with a handle grip, which they chose to match their school colours. The children and staff were fascinated by the process and are now very proud owners of their own bespoke bat. The celebration Stalbull tournament was a glorious day in the beautiful surroundings of the Weald and Downland Open Air Museum in West Sussex. All the children played and a team from Singleton Primary School also joined us later in the afternoon. A representative team from each school played for the overall winner's title, which was finally won by Newick, with runners-up Harlands. But the children from Framfield and St Mark's valiantly played in Victorian costume and experienced first-hand just how tricky that must have been. The feedback on this project has been very positive, from school staff, volunteers, the children and the workshop leaders. All the work produced in the workshops formed class exhibitions which were incorporated into each school's end of year celebrations. Through the Let's Play Stallball project, Stallball England believes it has shown how Stallball can cover many aspects of the national curriculum, give children a fascinating insight into a traditional community sport and give them a fun, easy, inexpensive sport to play. At present, stallball is mainly played in Sussex, Kent, Surrey and Hampshire, but it was once played by schools nationwide. It is Stallball England's aim to promote the game in schools and once again have stallball played across the country. For more information about playing stallball in your school, please go to www.stallball.org.uk.